Hello and welcome to Virtuous Woman once again. And as usual, you know you never know what to expect on this program. But one thing you will always learn and you will understand a little bit more about that virtuous woman. And today's episode is about women and their fathers. We'll see you shortly. God bless. Join Maxine on Virtuous Woman every Monday at 12.30pm, Tuesday 7.30pm and Saturday 8.30pm here on Love World TV. Yes and hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman and as usual, always a pleasure being here. I get excited, I get moved and I get touched and I learn so much from my guests. But today's episode, as I said, is about women and their fathers. And today we have Cammy. Her, her real name's Camilla, but we lo I love calling her Cammy, and I hope you don't mind that, Cammy. Don't mind at all. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, today's episode also is gonna, you know, just encourage us and show us about God, mm -hmm. and uh, once again, and just His 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 faithfulness and the strength that He gives us, in certainly in times of need. Mm -hmm. But as usual, if you want to know a little bit more about that virtuous woman, you need to go to Proverbs 31. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs 31 just gives you the whole download. Mm -hmm. Am I correct, Absolutely, Cameron? absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be reading from Proverbs 31, and that's verse 28. And we're reading from the New King James Version, and it reads, Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also... And he praises her. Now, can we come on? You mm. know, when it comes to, you know, mothers, I mean, you know, you're, 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 you're a mother in the making right now. Yeah. But we yeah. know when it comes to, you know, your own mother, Cammie, mm. I mean, can you call this woman truly yeah. blessed? Absolutely. Absolutely truly blessed. I think that sometimes women, mothers can be underestimated oh, uh, in terms of like, our strengths. I think we don't really realise how strong we are. You've said it all. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that we have to even carry children, mm. that we multitask, that we, you know, like, especially when, you know, when women are married and they're, they're doing so much for their children and for the husband. You know. It is, mm. it is a lot. But it's at the same lot. time, we thank God for Amen. that strength. Absolutely. And we Absolutely. thank God for being truly mm. a virtuous woman. Amen. Because that's Amen. just who we are uh -huh. naturally. Definitely. Anyway, <laughs> you know, moving on, as I said, Cammy's here with us today to talk about mm -hmm. women and their fathers. And, you know, and you are truly qualified for this, Cammy. Mm -hmm. And as people will see as they go along um, through the program, mm -hmm. you know, firstly, mm -hmm. you know, you're a devoted Christian mm -hmm. and have Amen. been pretty much all your life. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, you've got a, um, an amazing mother and father. Mm -hmm. You've got um, an amazing... Uh, two brothers as well mm. and um, your family's always even blessed me mm -hmm. um, you know I've known you for a few years and I've seen you over the years yeah, you know yeah, yeah. become who you are today mm -hmm. and I'm just like wow mm. you know totally blown away yeah no yeah totally. no, thank god for that it's, it's been we've been a great um, network of people that god has placed together and I'm just really thankful for you know the ingredients of us as individuals and how Amen. beautiful it's it's being you know yeah. you know growing absolutely, up absolutely absolutely so. okay yeah. i mean as we're talking about women and their fathers you know how would you describe your relationship with your dad anyway um my relationship with my dad i the first word that comes to mind naturally is fun Aww. yeah he's fun and um just has inspired me has taught me a lot obviously with my mother obviously sure. you forget the mother but we are sure. talking about fathers and he's yeah. just been such an inspiration to me um he's taught me you know what it is you know to have that relationship with men you know we women and men are sure. so different sure but having that relationship that's I, I think for any um woman, i mean before you even go into that how hmm. important do you think it is to have um, mm -hmm. a father figure whether a blood father mm -hmm. or do you know what I mean mm -hmm. whether related or uh, but just a father, father, father figure, figure in a woman's life yeah how important do you think that is uh, I think it's imperative I think it's imperative God has put us on this earth you know as man and woman and it, it's important to 
have that relationship and to also appreciate men and mm. also mm. to understand men. I think sometimes that, you know, there, there can be a misunderstanding with men, but sometimes, you know, emotionally they're different. Yeah. They're yeah. wired in a they're different way. No doubt about it. And we're <laughs> wired in a completely different way. So, yeah, it's so, it's so important to have that, have that connection. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you because I think uh, you might have may well agree with me, but, mm -hmm. you know, when a, a, a woman has a, a, a relationship with their father as such, whether a blood father or mm -hmm. just a father figure in their life, mm -hmm. um, it also, I think, kind of sets the precedent for even your relationship with God as our father, Absolutely. if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, as well as even for a woman mm -hmm. um, who eventually... Um, will marry mm. even seeing that that how that man figure who, sure. who's going to be her husband yeah, yeah, you kind of will look to that to yeah, even absolutely uh, does that make sense yeah completely I think that is you know the first you know having your father is the first almost like experience yeah of Amen. the man so you true. know how God yeah. has created man yeah. and how how even God will treat you. Yes, you know exactly, you and know. and that's the funny thing. Whether it's a, a negative or a positive, mm, mm -hmm. um, it's it's normally how um, we start our relationship with God because you're. You, I mean, don't get me wrong; it never stays there. Mm -hmm. how, how you start off, yeah. but you know, in order to kind of how you see God at the beginning, it's sure. pretty much how you would have that first relationship Absolutely. with the, with who you would call your father, father. or who you see as your father's sure. father figure, isn't uh -huh. it? Definitely. Really? Definitely. Amen to that. Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you've grown up and you've left home, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I say this, I mean, first of all, just for the viewers to say, you know, you're in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. you're out and about, you've mm -hmm. traveled, you've mm -hmm. done so much, yeah. uh, you've seen a lot, experienced mm -hmm. a lot on your own. Um, and and first and it's amazing. I love mm -hmm. I love I love hearing when people <laughs> you know just are traveling yeah, and doing uh -huh, their uh -huh. thing because it's good to have experience. Mm -hmm. um, just not staying in one country, sure. but at the same time as well, uh, where you were always jet setting, if you mm -hmm. like, you know, how involved um, did you have your father in your life? Mm -hmm. Very much so, completely all the way. No matter where I was um, in the world or how far I was, or even the fact that I even moved home first. You know, even even that being outside of the home, sure. You know, there was always mm. every day there's a conversation. Wow. You know, or every other day, or I've not spoken to you in a while. Sure. And so in terms of everything that I was doing and my decision making, uh, you know, being abroad, being on jobs, stuff has happened in the company. You know, yeah. calling, you know, dad to give me some advice and stuff. It was always um, beautiful. Something that was happening, and you know, that connection was just strong. Friends, it's beautiful friend, you know, and I love that you know even myself mm -hmm. you know I have a very strong relationship with my dad and mm -hmm. I, I and I do think that it's a it's such a good base in order to mm -hmm. to, to to work and have Absolutely. relationships with yeah. male people uh -huh. whether it's your husband whether it's, you know what I mean definitely, it's it's definitely. such a good thing and and as you say um, and as we was talking earlier even um, knowing God mm -hmm. you know I think when you had a good relationship with your father mm -hmm. I think getting you know to know your your heavenly father Absolutely. your spiritual father yeah, yeah. is another level because you know if if you, the bible tells us that he loves us more mm. than our own fathers Amen. it's like hold on whoa yeah, whoa whoa sure. whoa, whoa. i know my dad <laughs> ultimately loves me so yeah, <laughs> hold on yeah, how does sure. this work well, uh -huh. yeah absolutely so yeah it's, it's absolutely mm. awesome honestly mm. cammy it really mm. is mm. okay so okay that spent a lot of time in your life and i know that um you know, just once again, for our viewers' sake, mm. um, you know, you went away to America this mm -hmm. year. Right, yeah. And um, um, I know that it was a, a very um, reflective time for yeah. you. Tell us a little bit about that sure. so our, our viewers can understand a little yeah. bit more why I'm asking these mm -hmm. questions. Um, yeah, America, for me, that trip, I booked it last year, November, and um, I just was kind of in a place where I wanted to kind of go do some training out there um, and just kind of go on my own, you know, and just, like you were saying, reflect. Mm. Uh, just understand where I am in my place in my life as a woman in the UK, you know, doing what I do in the entertainment industry, what, you know, just trying to figure it all out, really. And f for the whole time when I was there, it was good and it was great, but at the same time, there was a sense of questioning still. I was still questioning. Wow. And whilst I was out there, again, 
dad every day or <laughs> mum, you know. But, you know, a lot of the time when mum was at work, I'd be like, dad, you know, don't really feel like getting out Just today. Just being motivated. Yeah, I, was, I felt mm. unmotivated. And, and, I, you know, you get halfway, you know, not, not halfway across the world, but you get all the way to New York and you think, oh, okay, amazing, I'm going to... But sometimes there's such... There's a, you're on a journey in life. A absolutely, you know? and especially where a woman is going from that change. You mm. know, obviously, you're, you've come out of adolescence mm -hmm. now. You know what I mean? You come out of teenage, mm -hmm. you come out of adolescence, you're going into, your, you're a woman now, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, understanding who you are and where you want to go sure. now. absolutely. You know, yeah. different thoughts, husband, children, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're, you're going to have a different thought yeah. pattern, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, uh, Dad was there a, a lot, mm. you know, in terms of me calling up and just giving me advice and stuff, but and was always reassuring. And again, that helped me and that strength that, you know, how you're the father is or that man figure is in your life he, he was ob obviously you know um fulfilling that Amen. um so yeah. and it's beautiful because even when i hear you talk about your dad it's it still reminds me of my my heavenly father at the same time mm. where just giving you once again that reassurance mm -hmm. letting you know he's always there Absolutely. um sometimes not necessarily giving you the answer that you think you might want at that sure. time yeah, um, and yeah. you was even saying earlier, which which really blessed me about sometimes giving you the things that you might not necessarily need. need yeah, so yeah. I so, sometimes I think there would be times, even you know, recently that I'd go to dad and be like, I need some advice and this and that, and, and he just would be like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, sure. Usually, you know, and sometimes it's like that with God, like you pray to God. And sometimes he's quiet in areas and sometimes he's loud and he's speaking yeah. to you either, you know, one to one or via a dream or via someone else or That's anything, right. That's right. you know, so, and it's about giving you what you need and not necessarily what you want. And sometimes you get what you want, y you know, uh, from God or, and yeah. from your, your, your dad. But sometimes yeah. it's like, no, actually, this lesson needs to be learned. So I'm going to, you know, almost fast you from that and not give that to you. Mm -mm -mm. until you're ready that's you know. right that's right and i think also as well um same with but it, it sounds a little bit like your own father as mm. well as our heavenly father mm. you know god gives you a time to 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 learn things and work it out for yourself because he's given us the holy spirit mm -hmm. there's sometimes he expects us to kind of work with the mm -hmm. spirit inside mm -hmm. of us so mm -hmm. we'll get it that we'll get there in the yeah, end you yeah, know what i mean yeah. and then there's a growth uh -huh. so you know that if that scenario comes up again, yeah, you can deal amen, with that, amen, isn't it? Amen, like, you can yeah, deal with that. Yeah, oh, I've been yeah, here before, sure. or I've been through worse than this, so right. I must be able to deal with right. this, you know? Even you saying that, I'm saying that now is amen. delivering me, honestly. I just amen. feel like ex there's certain situations and scenarios that I'm in that God, exactly what you're saying, if you can deal with this now, you know, then, you know, you, you've you passed almost. Amen. And someone even said to me the other day, they said that God will test you and if you pass the test you don't you don't just fail a test no. and move on no. you have to pass it and if you don't pass it now you'll just face it again in your life and and you yeah know? and that's the truth of it it, it mm. never totally leaves it's mm. just a different different face mm -hmm. different area mm -hmm. different time sure. <laughs> but the same scenario <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah, like, quite oh. interesting oh. but you know viewers we are going to take a very short break now, this is not the time for you to go away, um, you know, because Cammie's going to tell us what happened when she came back from America. And, you know, you'll understand why, you know, this is not the time to leave because this is where uh, Cammie's father became ill and a lot more happened after that. And you'll, you'll see the beauty of God uh, by the end of this program. Mm. We'll see you shortly. God bless you. Join Maxine on Virtuous Woman every Monday at 12.30pm, Tuesday 7.30pm and Saturday 8.30pm here on Love World TV. Hello and welcome back to Virtuous Woman. And if you have not watched the first half of the programme, today's programme is about women and their fathers. You know, today's programme, we are doing this with our special guest, Cammie, who has been absolutely awesome. And she's just letting us know and under believe me, she's very qualified for what we're talking about mm. today. And you'll definitely see why very shortly. 
Um, as I said before the uh, break, you know, Cami was in America and she now came back from mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she came back from America and I think I'll let you explain that. What yeah. happened when you came back from America, Cami? Um, I came back um, and l like for a short period of time, like say a week into me coming back, sure. um, my dad had um, fallen ill. So I think even for the time that I was out in, in America, he was had a cold, just a, thought it was a cough, wasn't sure. anything. And we were like, are you gonna sure. go get it, check it out? And typically, you know, typically like, as men do. No, it's fine, it's just a cough, it's fine. Why do men not like going to pride, the doctor? Pride, pride, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was messing with manly pride. Um, go ahead. So, yeah, so he kind of left it for a while. Um, but he basically was admitted, long story short, admitted into hospital. Um, and by, you know, it was something that kind of happened very quickly. Um, and okay. by the Sunday. Okay, what was, when he, when he, um, your dad became ill. What was he? Uh, what did they like diagnose him with, if you like? Um, well, what we thought was a just a cold yeah. or flu. It was severe pneumonia on both lungs. Okay, and yeah. this was genuinely something that they said you know could be healed. It's like a absolutely. A lot of people, um, c uh, you know, fight the infection of pneumonia. Um, you know, it's very, you know, pretty much a protocol that when as soon as you go into hospital and you have it. The doctors are reassuring. They're like, okay, it's fine. We've been here. We've done this before. You know, it just can be dealt routine, with. Yeah, pretty it can much. Be dealt with. Okay. Now, just for our viewers' sake, if you can explain as well, mm -hmm. what is pneumonia? Uh, um, just for viewers' sake, because sometimes you know, I, I don't mean to be funny. I don't even know the fullness of what pneumonia yeah. is. I know it's something to do with a cold uh -huh, or, uh -huh. or a serious cold. Yeah. But what, what is what is pneumonia? Pneumonia is um, it's a, a it's an infection that's in the lung. It could either be bacterial or viral. Okay. So you could either catch it in the air or it could be something that develops inside um, inside the lungs. Wow. And wow. It, it's like the inflammation of the lungs as well. They inflame and they're infected. Okay. Now, moving on from that, mm. um, while we're talking about this awesome <laughs> man of God, um, you know, what happened um, uh, while he was ill in hospital? Mm. What happened the next phase of after they said he could yeah. be healed from this, what happened after Yeah, that? well, they took him into ICU, which is an intensive care unit. Mm. Um, they were they were sure that they could get rid of it, mm -hmm. but they were, they was like, Mr. Beckles, you do have, you do have it on both lungs and it is quite strong, but we believe that you can, this can be rid of. Yeah, of course. Um, so I took him to intensive care. Sure. And the recovery process was actually quite quick. Um, and then they took him out of the unit. Um, yeah, they they were sure, and they were they were faithful, just as faithful, obviously, as we were as Christians. It was a, a week. It was six days of us back and forth from the hospital, praying, making food, preparing the house so that when he comes back, he's got a restful place to be yeah. in. So it's just this constant, you know, six days. It just was like almost like a, a, a fight to kind of make sure things were prepared with the hospital, with him, with us as a household, sure. and my auntie, um, his, his uh, elder sister, we just were there, we were fervent, fervent, <laughs> fervently praying, fervently just working hard. Amen. Um, and what happened after that, Cam? Yeah, so um, the early hours of Good Friday, I was actually on the phone um, to a friend of mine, and I was up until really late, um, it was half four, and just as I went to go to bed, um, we received a call from the hospital just to say that he, Mr. Beckles has become unresponsive and he's, you know, the breathing is kind of, he's kind of got into a bit of a panic and they're trying sure. to, you know, okay. basically resuscitate. So we got in a cab and we oh, rushed, rushed, we yeah. rushed, we were rushing and mm -hmm. getting ready and I was getting my brothers up and stuff and we were praying and praying and waiting for the cab and obviously the cab was delayed and as, as it does do, on as it does and you're yeah. panicking and you're trying to rush 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 and as we were in the cab um i could just just as we pulled up to the hospital i could just hear stand still and know that i'm god stand still and know that i'm god and i was just like okay so then it must be he must be okay he must be fine yeah you know? it sounds something very yeah. positive so you i know, understand what you're saying I will, yeah. you know god heals and he delivers and so stand mm. still and know that i am you know we i think as christians we can automatically think the positive okay god is going to come through on this one mm -hmm. you know yeah definitely mm. yeah so then we'd 
we and even trying to get into the hospital, we were the doors wasn't opening. Everything was just delayed. Like time had slowed down. Wow. And um, yeah, we we got there, and then they, the doctors brought us into another room. We couldn't go into the room that he was in, and then they basically broke the news that he'd passed away. Okay, now Cami, yeah. before you go any further, we're talking about you know how long has your dad um, passed now? Uh, just over three months. Okay. Now, now your strength is incredible. Yeah. Um, even talking to you, your strength is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. And it touches me so much because mm -hmm. I actually knew this man for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you know, I mean, first of all, did you ever have any doubt, even a little bit mm. of doubt, that, that, your, that your dad would have passed um, at yes. this time? Yeah. I, I, and this I, is what I want you to explain yeah, to, to yeah. our viewers. It's something that, you know, like you, sometimes when you have faith and you fervently pray and you, you know, you kind of want to have a faith that's not been touched, it's thick, you don't want it, anything to break through that, that almost that, that wall of faith, Amen. you know. But sometimes, you know, we are human and we are fragile and we don't realise how fragile we are as human beings and we have these thoughts and we try to go, pray it away, pray it away. But I think, you know, there were glimmers of doubt, definitely. And I would say to mum, I said, I don't know why I feel it in my spirit. I don't know if it's me being too in my flesh, but I mm. just feel like he won't make it. I just feel like, you know, and she's like, don't, don't be silly, don't be silly. And almost like you trying to have this unwavering faith that actually is not, sure. not really existing. Now, um, you know, I, I, I find it quite, I mean, I, I've spoken to your mother previous to mm. all of this mm -hmm. when I'm talking about a day or so yeah 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 of, I remember you called okay early. yeah um now how as a family are you guys dealing with this sudden sudden change mm. um you know just to encourage I mean I I I've never like you said earlier you know to me you you've never had an experience of being so close obviously mm -hmm. I, I haven't so mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't know but just for our viewers as well, just to mm -hmm. encourage, I mean, how are you as a family, you know, you, you got yourself, you got your two brothers and you have a mother. How are you mm -hmm. guys um, dealing, you know, coping in these situations? Of course, we have yeah. the word of God, mm -hmm. but it's one thing, you know, you know, knowing this thing mm -hmm. and it's another thing working this mm -hmm. thing. Definitely. Um, God is so apparent so so real and tangible right now more than ever i feel like you, Father, that in a time where we should be woeful and in tears and broken which we are to an extent but that peace that surpasses all understanding Amen. Amen. i can't understand my peace even the fact that i can talk to you <laughs> that three months ago my dad was here mm. that that God is really, his scriptures are coming to life in our lives. Um, and that, you know, yeah, it's that level of faith. Again, like, I feel like sometimes as Christians, we can box God and box our faith. Absolutely. And I should have faith to this extent. Or yeah. To, who's to say God created this earth? This, exactly. You know, like, exactly. the magnitude of who God I is. Know. I that know. My faith, you know, mm. and the, the peace and the level of, of being able to cope is unreal. And I really, you know, thank God for that. Cammy, you're so strong. Mm. <laughs> and it does, it blesses me, mm. you know, even hearing you, you know, talk like this mm -hmm. um, and seeing you that you've, um, yeah, just gone to a, an, another place. Mm. I, I, I can't even imagine, but even just looking into your eyes, it's mm. like you've gone to another place of mm. understanding who mm, your real yeah. spiritual father mm -hmm, is. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, do you feel like that? Do you feel that you know God at a different place now yeah, in your life? Yeah, I feel like I do. I feel like I do. I feel like I'm, and, and still, and now I feel like it's like discovering God on a different level. That if I feel like this now, because you've taken my father, my earthly father away, but it's just like, it, I said to, I said to my mum sometimes, I go, actually, in God's big plan, God is saying that it doesn't matter if he's Pastor Beckles isn't here or Linton's not here. Wow. It actually doesn't matter because actually wow. we are a part that the next phase of our life, the next dimension that God is in and, and you know, all that's gonna happen, mm. that's what matters. That that is the bigger picture. This is just 
stage one so awesome. you know whatever we are, wherever we awesome. are in god's plan like awesome. it it's not so it makes me f you know and having that confidence through god then who is you know linton beckles to dad that he Amen. took him you know you know cammy mm -hmm. We are run, we've run out of time. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. I'm so touched. I'm so mm -hmm. inspired. Mm -hmm. But you know what it tells me? It tells me that, you know, your dad, Pastor Beckles, however we, we you know, want to refer to him, that he, he, he'd done his bit. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes, and I've seen it time and time again mm -hmm. in different walks of life, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you're here and you've done your bit, you've done everything you needed Absolutely. to do and I'm sure Absolutely. you can see that as well as definitely. your mother and the you know your brothers yeah, and stuff definitely definitely you know can yeah. we I want to thank you so much mm. for coming on Virtuous oh, Woman you. today and sharing this with us mm -hmm. and you know if there's anyone out there that that's in a predicament or a scenario mm. where they've had a, a recent loss mm. you know what would you say to them to even encourage them just just I'd just, say just it's really leaning on God um, and letting the scriptures, you know, come to life. And I wouldn't, you know, I'd be careful how I word it, but really speak to God, like, and almost, I think I've almost, I will go to the extent and say that I feel like I've challenged God because amen. I just feel like, God, if, you're, if your word says this, let it be, let it be thus and amen. It has to be, you know, and you have to, if God has put you in a certain scenario, it means that you can handle it and amen. you can. And don't Amen. think for once that you cannot handle it because God doesn't give us more than we can bear. There's no way that you can bear amen, it. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you. You know, remember, if you have any testimonies or you've been touched by this episode, please use the details on the screen. We would love to hear from you. But remember, until next time, if you are a woman, and you're watching this program, remember, you are a virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks, everyone.